Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. I think that's everything wound up, Tom. Yes. Well, I guess I'm ready to go down for the long sleep then. Good night, Ava. I will miss your assistance. The ship will be very quiet without you here. Night. See you when I wake up, Tom.
Residuals before nulling, minus 0, 2, minus 0, 4, minus 0, 1. X and Z, null to 0. Looking good. Okay, good. Horizon check right on time. How's things, Christopher? Good. I am go for power descent. I can confirm. You are go for power descent. Roger that. I am running the PDI program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Engine one ignition. Engine burn. Suppressing 400 alarm. Bound. The lander's are ready. Good. Thanks, Tom. You okay now, Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Daniel. I've done this before. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just another ten years of my life. Day three. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Zephyr. Engaging retro fire. I'm running the program 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. to Europa. How long will my suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin, a couple of hours. We should get inside.
the base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. So, if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning.
Perhaps we can't solve this yet. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts.
This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all.
beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the others? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on life forms. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikhail? Are you able to hear? I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. We need to get this to a better lab. Me and Sochi are having trouble making enough clones. I'm going to run out of the necessary resources to continue studying Organism 119. You're calling for a grounding of all your robot transport until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. That's rather drastic.